Today's lesson, how much paint do you put in your paint pail when you go to paint the door? This is how much you use. That's enough. And then you're going to wipe your edge so you can reseal your can. That's very important, being able to reseal. So wipe out the inner edge. When we start trim projects, we only use about, well, I'd say that's about almost an inch of paint. And the reason why is because we want to dab the bristles so it opens up the brush. And then we want to go slap, slap. That gets rid of the dripping and then we'll apply it to the trim. So we're going to start that process next. So follow along. Okay, listen up guys and girls. This is how we're going to do it. Dunk, dunk, tap, tap. We're going to start in the inlay first, always. We're going to apply the product first, and then we're going to feather it out. I'm applying the product. I'm not overly applying. Listen to the brush getting lighter and lighter to feather it all in. Dunk, dunk, slap, slap. Apply the product first. Apply the product. There you go. You guys got this. You girls got this. Middle panel. Apply the product first. Now we're going to blend in everything in. Light strokes. Inlay. We're not touching the panel when we do the inlay. We're just touching the inlay to give it some graining. Next panel, apply the product first. Metal panel, apply it first. Now we're going to blend everything in. It's important to leave the graining of the brush so when it dries it looks like it was professionally painted. Do your metal pieces. Start in the middle of the middle. Draw out, then back in. That's done. You might as well do the top. Dab, dab on the top. Dab, dab to get it into the cracks, nooks, and crannies. Kneel down. Apply the product first. Middle piece. Apply everything first. Now we're going to blend it in. We're removing any imperfections, ripped, drawn, sags, and possibly holidays, which are misses. Lower panel. Apply the product first. Back and forth, apply that product. Don't be afraid to work that paintbrush. Feather it in. Two metal pieces. Start in the middle. Start in the middle. Feather over your work. Let's do the bottom piece. Start in the middle. Start in the middle. And always draw it out. It spreads out the paint evenly. We're going to work on the side rail. Reach up as far as you can reach. Apply the product first. This is a time sensitive door. We want to keep everything wet at the same time. Okay, feather it all the way down to leave the graining. Next one. Cut in around the skeleton key door. It was already painted. We're just freshening it up for the customer. Draw down, apply the product first. Very important, tap, 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 feather up. Go over your work, make sure there's no imperfections, run the drips or sags, and we want to leave a graining brush effect. Stand back up, finish off your side, apply the product first, now feather it, 
feather it all the way down to keep it all together and make it look uniform. We don't paint like this. We don't do this in painting, only to apply it. Then we feather everything over. That's the most important aspect of painting. Apply the product first. Now we're going to blend it in and leave a graining. When it dries, it's going to be a perfect job. All right. All right, guys and girls, let's look at your door. Look at the shine on that, will you? Incredible. Not bad. Good job, everybody. You're getting better.